Hey guys, we're back with another Piet scene breakdown, and this one is coming from the 1975 film Paper Tiger. It's an interesting film, and certainly not one you would expect to see a Piat to pop up in. David Niven plays Mr. Bradbury, a tutor to a young Japanese boy. Bradbury is a Walter Mitty-like character that regales the child with made-up tales of his wartime escapades. Early in the film, Bradbury describes a battle in France in October 1944. Niven's character is shown as a member of the Grenadier Guards, and receives orders to take an enemy pillbox. Bradbury describes how he attacked the German position single-handed. The sequence begins with what looks like a platoon making a frontal assault. Niven receives a call from his commanding officer, and then tells his sergeant. Get in the bazooka! But it's not a bazooka. He's handed a hit. Now it's quite the faux pas to call a Piat a bazooka, but I imagine the script called for one, and the film armour brought along British weapons to fit the action involving the Grenadier Guards. Niven's character then charges across the open ground in front of the pillbox, takes cover in a shell crater, and we see that the bomb loaded into the tray is painted black with a yellow stripe. This denotes that it is actually an inert drill round. If we look closely inside the yellow stripe, it also appears to have the words drill use written on it. Note also how far forward the bomb appears in the bomb support tray. This would suggest that the weapon isn't actually cocked, and that the bomb has simply been slid down onto the spigot to make it look loaded. Before he can take on the pillbox, a German armoured vehicle, which is actually a disguised American M8 Greyhound, appears. As it crests the ridge, Niven takes aim with the Piat and knocks it out. As he aims, we can see that the Piat has the later pattern 3 aperture rear sight rather than the earlier 2 aperture. The apertures are for 50, 80 and 110 yards. The Piat, however, is missing its webbing butt pad and gated cheek rest but we can see that it has the white indirect aiming line painted along the top for using the Piat as a light mortar. As the Greyhound's crew bails out, Niven draws his revolver and shoots the crew with the style of pastiches many war films. Leaving his Piat, Niven runs forward and we see that the spigot can be seen in the bomb tray. This means he would have had to have manually re the weapon before firing again. And as he runs, we can see that he has another Piat bomb hanging from his belt. I've never seen any contemporary photos or documents referencing bombs being carried this way, and in reality they would have been carried by the Piat team's number two in a three bomb bomb carrier. He throws a number 36 Mills bomb into the pillbox with perfect aim. Another funny nod to a common war movie trope. The bunker is knocked out, and the enemy surrender en masse. It's an interesting little scene, and Niven is great as always. Of course, as a veteran of the war, and a former British Army officer, he would have been familiar with the Piat. Thanks for watching, check out the rest of our videos looking at on-screen portrayals of the Piat, and please do like, share, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, see you next time.